uh, want to thank y'all for working hard over the course of the summer. Uh, get out on Sunday and, and uh, do the best you can. Strive for a PR, uh, uh, whatever that is, and, uh, and let all else uh, go from there. So Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley giving Fort Meade's Army 10-Miler team some last-minute words of encouragement. The Army 10-Miler is the second largest 10-mile race in the U.S. This year's event is set for Sunday, that's October 12th. The race starts and ends at the Pentagon with a scenic route through Washington, D.C. Hundreds of civilians and military running teams are participating. On behalf of the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, we wish Team Meade the best of luck. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, news from the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. We'll have a preview of this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance and its Fire Prevention Week. These stories and more, but first, as we reported earlier this week, the new Exchange Mall isn't quite ready for business, but AFES is moving ahead with the hiring process. We spoke with the Exchange General Manager about positions available, opportunities for veterans, spouses, and teenage family members. She also touched on starting wages for food service workers. With our construction project, we had um, a little bit of some delay, um, so we didn't quite open um, when we originally anticipated, which has allowed us a little bit more time um, to hire. And we have over a hundred positions um, that we have to hire for in our food operations alone. Retail experience is always welcome, but absolutely not. So there's no prerequisite. Um, the minimum hiring age that we have is 16. Of course, our spouses always take um, priority, our military spouses, but um, anybody can apply. So, and we have that many positions to fill. So, I mean, we welcome anyone and everyone. And we have over a hundred positions um, that we have to hire for in our food operations alone. And that includes Starbucks, Domino's, uh, Denny's Express, Charlie's, and Boston Market. Once again, the best place to start your job search is at www.applymyexchange.com and search for Fort Meade. In other news, an important reminder from the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center, they're hosting a mini town hall meeting with Colonel Michael Zippor, the Deputy Commander for Clinical Services, on Thursday, October 16th from 6 to 7 p.m. The purpose is to provide information, answer questions, and discuss concerns regarding the clinic. All Kimbrough beneficiaries are invited to attend. Once again, that's next Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. Meanwhile, this week is Fire Prevention Week. The Fort Meade Fire Department has been busy visiting schools and child care centers, demonstrating fire safety. Thursday, the Post Libraries regularly scheduled pre-K story time hosted one of the learning lessons. Oh, there's a smoke detector going off. Get low and get out. You got to get low, head out the door. The smoke detector's telling us we got to get out. The Fort Meade Fire Department is wrapping up Fire Prevention yep. Week by joining more than 30 other agencies on Saturday, October 11th at Sandy Point State Park for a day of demonstrations by emergency personnel. In other news, Fort Meade's annual Hispanic Heritage Month observance is set for Wednesday, October 15th at 1130 in the McGill Training Center. Fort Meade's Equal Opportunity Advisor says they're doing something different this year. We're doing like a cultural fair, uh, which will be different displays of uh, table displays of various countries, Hispanic countries, uh, information on that country, also food sampling along with that country. On top of that, we have a Puerto Rican band, which is called Sal Bon Ply, which is a Puerto Rican based band. It's a mixture of old school Puerto Rican salsa with a uh, historic uh, sound of Bombay and Plena. Also, we're gonna have a eight-year-old Peruvian dancer, very known in New York. Sergeant Palmore added that EEO observances are a great way for sponsoring units to put their own spin on the event. It's a team meet concept. I kind of like the thing that it's team meet because we kind of get involved. We partner up with different organizations. And with that, I think it's a good program to where different organizations can show, show their support for the different observances and kind of put their thumbprint on what they you know, feel like and want to show the public that they're interested in. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. We close with some scenes from last weekend's father-daughter ball at Club Mead. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.